Hey everyone, Toy Insanity back, Transformers Tuesday. We're looking at a full case of 24 of the single pack blind bagged bot bots. I got them all converted out. Didn't want to leave you hanging. Check out video part one for the unboxing and the pack codes. Uh, I'll go ahead and mention it again. A lot of the codes, they're using the same codes for a lot of the same figures, but hopefully. They can still help you out. They can help if you don't come upon a full case. They can help you narrow things down to certain figures. But it is kind of weird. They didn't have 24 unique codes. But here's the here's the main thing. I got them all converted out, ready to look at. So we're gonna start with Dimlet. He's in the Lost Bots. The Lost Bots, at least among these 24, we did also find out there's gonna be 61 total. I'm supposing with multi packs, although in between 24 and 61, they could throw a whole nother series of blind single packs in there too. But there's only two in the Lost Bots, and realistically, they both could have fit into other categories, other factions, so I'm not sure why they made Lost Bots. But it's a flashlight. He could have easily been in the Techie Squad. This guy's name is Dimlet. Pretty easy conversion, and very cute Bot Bot. The other lost spot is a cupcake, and this could have easily gone in the sweet squad or whatever it's called. Another really easy conversion, and this is Frostferatu, and uh, yeah, I like, you're going to see some that have like a, you know, more mechanical looking face or something with one eye, something where like there's an element from the mechanical device, the human object or whatever, just incorporated into the robot mode. But I prefer the robot modes where they take on like a more kawaii, more expressive, even human type, you know, facial features. So I do like that about Frostferatu. So looking at the Jock Squad, among the blind single packs, we get Batsby. Pretty straightforward. And Kid Clobber. And these are the only two in the 24 in this squad. Kid Clobber is a boxing glove wearing a boxing glove on one hand. They did not do a glove or even, a, you know, fingers on this other left arm. And the drawing does show... Unless I didn't convert it all the way. The drawing makes it look like his feet should be red and not have been painted black. Because even in even in the converted image, you see they're red. You see the figure there. It's all blacked on there on the bottom. That's Kid Clobber. Let's move to the Backpack Bunch. Totes McGoat. Awesome name. But probably not the greatest spot bot. It's just a tote bag, a you know, a, a gym bag or something. But the arms pull out, the feet pull down, the heads pull up, and again, a very non-expressive face. It just it's kind of uh, you know what we might call sunglasses in the robot world. I guess it's as effective as a face like that. Yeah, I would have liked I would like them all or I would like these ones better if they had, you know, this more kawaii face that you see on those two, those three. But there you go. Totes McGoat backpack bunch. Snippy Snappy is the scissor guy. He's a pair of scissors. Pretty straightforward conversion, and again, not, you know, not a very expressive face. Backpack squad, or backpack bunch, Crankus, old school pencil sharpener. This is probably my least favorite. This is his face. Just... I mean, nothing changes. You can see it's his face is literally the front of the pencil sharpener. 
So he's probably the one that changes the least in the conversion. I feel like his robot mode is just... <laughs> it's a pencil sharpener with the sides pulled out. Uh, this is Professor Wellred. And, well, he basically changes a lot. Simple conversion, though, because you're just kind of revealing his face from inside the notebook and then pulling his body down. Like, very expressive, very human-like face compared to, <laughs> compared to this. And they're in the same posse. Backpack Bunch. Greaser Gang. I like these guys a lot. This is Twerple Burple. And the Greaser Gang, they're just going to remind you if you've ever seen those food formers, I think they're called, that McDonald's did in the early 90s. It's straight up pretty much just like those. So this is like a, a fountain drink soda. Torple Burple. We got Sup Dog. He's a corn dog. Now, I was a little bit critical of this one because he came out of the pack with his face showing, but this should have been down in corn dog mode. And then uh, you don't you, you don't see that face in robot mode. Super straightforward conversion. Got some ketchup on his back. Cool face on this this guy. He's one of my favorites overall, definitely. Spud Muffin, French fries. More, another one that really is reminiscent of those food formers. Now we got a Sugar Shocks. More food. This is your sweet treats. This is Coco Crazy. Hot Chocolate Transformer. Sippy Slurps. Kind of a slurpy. I like his crazy expression. Oh, he's got brain freeze. Definitely, that's what's going on with Sippy Slurps. Remorsel. Take the word remorse and the word morsel <laughs> and make a sentient robotic chocolate bar. And you get remorsel here. Pretty cool. Now we're in the techie team. So first up is this old school camera. Front of the camera becomes his arm. This just reveals no, another one eye. Pretty uh, straightforward, also. But his name is S A Cheese, like say cheese. Eh, I'd rate him near the middle. This is FOMO. FOMO is one of my very least favorites. So the lens on the camera basically becomes one of his eyes, and the other eye is winking. He does seem to have, I guess you could consider this a gun. Maybe, maybe not. If they want this to be interpreted as a gun, this is the only weaponized one, so it's probably not a gun. Yeah, I don't really like the techie team, and I especially dislike that sculpt. And then this is Skills Punk. Not, definitely not one of my favorites. Again. Yeah, techie team's weird. I like the, you know, the the foodies and the plants. Toilet Troop has a plant. Uh, and his name is Stinkosaurus Rex. I guess it's just supposed to be 
a plant that you would keep in your bathroom. Very surprised this character didn't end up in the in the shed heads, but I guess they just needed another another toilet guy. Surely they could have made toilet paper, an actual toilet, a brush, a plunger. There's two more in the toilet troop. Sergeant Scrub-a-Dub. Not a big fan of this sculpt. His face, you know, his face is showing in the in the other conversion as the you know human object. His face is showing if you just simply lift him up. You can see they want the soap to face downward. And then otherwise you're just pulling out arms and legs. The last one in the toilet troop that are in the blind bags is this deodorant. His name is Nobio. No B O. Pretty cool. Mine has some stray paint dripped on his red eye. Whatever. And then the last ones are the Shed Heads. Four of these guys, and they are my favorites. Slobber Rock. This guy looks a lot like the Rock Lords. Look that one up. I'm sure Pixel Dan or somebody has a video on it. Look at this dude. Rock Lords. Classic. So the little plant growing among the moss on that rock becomes his tail. And then otherwise you just fold out the legs and pop forward the face. Root wing. Dragon type transformer made from this little tree. I do like this guy a whole lot. Very cool. Very creative. We got Fun Gus. The legs do not pull down any further, but it's just these two pieces fold out. And the face goes down. And it's a big group of Coryceps mushrooms. And Venus Frog Trap. I did pull this guy in my first look and I was hooked. This guy is my absolute favorite. Love this guy. Not much to the conversion. Literally all you do Oh, you can push his face forward more. That's fine. But really, you're just pulling legs out of the pot. Just love this guy. Love <laughs> carnivorous plant monsters. I would go and say... <laughs> the four shedheads are my number one, two. This guy would be my number three. This is my number four. Favorite among them all. And then the plant guy in the bathroom, what are, they, what are they, bathroom brawlers? I don't know. I would go ahead and make it my fifth favorite. And then for six, I'd probably go with the hot dog guy. And then my seventh favorite, probably the cupcake Yeah, all the foodies, the cupcake, the drink, and the Slurpee with Brain Freeze, definitely. The hot chocolate. So, he, basically, I like the plants, then the food, and then the sports. They have cool, expressive faces. And then all the techie dudes round out the bottom. The techies and the school supplies. My least favorite is definitely the pencil sharpener. And my second least favorite is this camera dude and the other camera dude. These are my least favorites. 
that's where I stand. This is my look at the 24 single pack blind bag. There are some codes, but they're pretty confusing. Transformers bot bots. I can't wait to find the other pack types so we can continue Transformers Tuesday with the bot bot figures. I do like the of all the tech types. I know he's one of the Lost Boys or whatever. But the flashlight turned out cool. I like the flashlight guy. All right, guys, I'm Toy Insanity. Smash that like button. Thank you very much. I hope this overview gave you a good look, helped you decide if you want to track them down and collect them. Hopefully, the pack codes in part one, although they're confusing and redundant, hopefully they will help you in some way. And like I said, hopefully we can continue this little experiment, this little weekly Transformers Tuesday with more bot, bot figures next week. Let me know if you're seeing multi-packs and where you're seeing them because I want to go out and get them myself. Toy Insanity, one of each in every color. Take care, guys. Happy New Year.